what is happening? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you all for tuning in. In tonight's video, we have a rather old shoebox to go through. This is something that I picked up today. I had a woman contact me via Google, send me messages on there. She was looking for a place to sell sports cards and came across me, sent me a message yesterday, and uh, I went out today to check out what they had. She said, I have 57s and 58s, Mickey Mantle, Hank Aaron, a Joe Montana rookie, etc., etc. And I said, I'm definitely interested. I will come and check out what you got, and hopefully we can work a deal out. And they were super nice people, about 20 minutes up the road from me, if that. And uh, here I am, got this old shoebox with um, some sort of hieroglyphics or ancient Sumerian text possibly written on it. I couldn't tell you the, uh, the year of this, but inside of here we have a whole bunch of vintage sports cards, football and baseball. And I had a great time talking to these people. I spent probably almost two hours there. But uh, first glance, we have some old binder pages, three of them to be exact. We'll get down to those in a second. But as you can see already, we have some 57s that were pretty well kept. Also some 58 football in there. We'll check those out in a minute here and go to some of the more oversized cards. This isn't going to be a very long video. It's a small collection, but uh, there's definitely some nice stuff in here. Some things that I've never seen before. And uh, please forgive me if I happen to butcher any names of any football greats. We all know how that goes. I am a baseball guy through and through. But right off the bat here, this is something I've never seen before. This is for Cons Wieners. The wiener the world awaited. Don Gross. Very suggestive piece of memorabilia and history here. Unmarked back. Couldn't tell you uh, what year this came out. I have no idea. It's not something that I really researched, but... Pretty awesome piece, though. Don Gross, cons. I love oddball stuff like this. So uh, if you know anything about this and you want to elaborate, feel free to do so in the comments section. But that's a pretty cool piece to have in anyone's PC. And these ones are pretty cool, too. It's something I've never seen before. As you'll probably hear me say quite a few times in this video. But we have Gil Hodges and Jackie Robinson. And these also unmarked. I think these are like three by fives, maybe. Now, the woman that I was talking to, it was actually a guy's collection from when he was a kid. It was him and his wife, and I think their daughter that I met with and, uh, you know, sat down and talked to for a while. But they were telling me that these were uh, in a machine at Kennywood Park, which Kennywood Park is in Pittsburgh, and they were like a penny back then. Now, I'd never seen these before, so I wasn't real sure about them. But upon further research, it looks like the set is called 1947 through 66 Exhibits. The Hodges, uh, not so much a high dollar card. You see the like, little crease on the corner there. But the Jackie Robinson, um, definitely decent value to this one upon further evaluation. It's definitely a nice one, too. I don't know if that will stay in my PC, if that's one that I will take and um, sell off at some point. As I'm primarily a rookie card, an error card collector. But I thought those were really cool. And... We have a bunch of football to go through here, a bunch of 58s, so we might as well just start hacking away at these. But a lot of the football are in pretty awesome shape. The baseball kind of like varies. Jack Butler, Ron Kramer, so there's a lot of rookies in 58. And there's definitely some uh, pretty prominent ones too that we will uh, we'll go through. We've got some Hall of Famers in here as well, Gary Anderson. These were also like giant, I want to say, I don't know if these were given out a giant eagle around here. I don't know if a lot of you guys know what giant eagle is. It's on the East Coast. Not really sure how far they branch out, but early 80s, Terry Bradshaw, Gary Anderson. This one is pretty muffed up, as you can tell in the corner there. Now, I'm not sure what year these are. I honestly could not tell you. I think these are also, I mean, they're also 50s. Dorn and Dibble. The Lions. But as you can see, like a lot of these, there's really no creases. I, I don't even know what year top loaders were really invented. I, I never really see top loaders in these older collections. We see penny sleeves here, oversized penny sleeves. But Milt Davis, Jim David. I know a lot of these guys are rookies. And there's definitely some nice surprises uh, as far as the baseball go, which we'll get into here in a minute. Some big names, 
And a lot of a lot of these players way before my time. Some of you guys may recognize the bigger names. As always, feel free to scold me for glossing over them quickly and not capitalizing and mentioning some of the big time, all time greats, I should say. Jim Ringo. Raymond Barry's definitely a nice one. But uh, you can see this one, for whatever reason, sucks that this one has a crease going the whole way through it. All the other ones are pretty awesome condition, but that one, of course, had to have a big freaking crease in it. So we got a bunch of 58s in here. I'll put these off to the side, but right off, right off the bat, 58 Yogi Bear. This is a pretty freaking awesome looking card. Check this one out. No creases, a little bit of a stain there of some kind, but it's a good looking Yogi. Very, very nice. Next, we got 57 Gil Hodges. Newly elected in the Hall of Fame. This one's got a little bit of a crease up top there. Duke Snyder. This one also has a faint crease through that one. Here's a pretty awesome one. This is one I picked up a couple years back. Also, Hall of Famer, Luis Aparicio. 1956 Tops. Definitely a bad cut on that one, but nonetheless, still a nice card to have in your PC. This one does have some sort of stain on the back of it, whether it be gum or wax. Still a rookie card of a Hall of Famer from 1956. Next, we got Red Shane Deanst. Look at that cut on that one. 57. That one appears to have no blemishes other than that bad miscut. No creases. Harvey Keen out K-Line. Tiger's Big Bats. I know some... Tigers fans would love that in their PC. Number 304. Suggestive card. How close they're standing together. Eddie Matthews, 57. That one's got a little crease up in the top left corner. And this is on... <laughs> that's on the penny sleeve. That's not uh, something else on his nose. Eddie Matthews is a nice one. And you're gonna notice, you notice, um, you know, there's some random commons and whatnot in here as well. But it's so fun to go through collections like this. Like I said, I sat there for probably two hours just talking to them. You know, he was telling me about how he collected and just, you know, he was in the military and everything else. Del Rice, one has got a big crease across it. Look at the cut on this one. <laughs> Pretty bad. Whitey Ford has seen better days though. Got two big creases across there. At least. It's a shame. It couldn't have been one of the more commons. We got Rocky Colavito's rookie card at 57 as well. And this one's in pretty nice condition. It's not like too badly centered either compared to some of these other ones we've been seeing. Definitely one I have in my PC already picked up a while ago. And some 58s. I was hoping to be like a Maris rookie in here. I did buy a Maris rookie a while back. But, you know, it's not the best condition. It uh, I didn't pay all that much money for it. So, um, can't complain too much, but uh, it's still a Maris rookie card. I think I paid about 125 bucks for it. There's Campanella, 57 tops. He's definitely a nice one. I need to get his Bowman. I think it's Bo I think his uh, Bowman rookie is 48. It's either 48 or 49. But uh, regardless, one of those is a rookie. I need to track it down. I want to say I found one for a few hundred bucks, 300 bucks at a local card shop. Gil Hodges, once again, this one appears to have... I don't know if it's a crease. Sometimes you can't tell these penny sleeves. This one... This is a surface blemish. Looks like it might be some wax on there. Doesn't look like it's a crease. Ted Williams. Ted Williams. And this one, uh, same thing with this one. This one, uh, it's got some creasing in it and whatnot. But uh, definitely a very nice one there, too. I like that car a lot. So that was a nice surprise to find that one in there. Gene Freese. We have Elroy Face. A lot of these penny sleeves are stuck together. Some kind of substance on there. Bob Friend. And there's Don Gross again. 58. And there's also some non-sports cards in this collection as well. And uh, I'm not too familiar with them, so you guys may have to help me out on that. Wayne Douglas, 58. And we got some team cards here. Kansas City A's. St. Louis Cardinals. White Sox, Milwaukee Braves, pretty awesome. There's the Buckos. A lot of these seem to be in pretty good condition. 
Phillies. There's the Braves again. Cardinals. Orioles. And look at this. This is a nice surprise. Did not expect this. Sonny Jurgensen, 58 tops, rookie card. And this one is in pretty awesome condition, too. I don't think that there's any creasing on here whatsoever. Yeah, this, the surface is pretty good. This one is pretty sharp. Not too bad at all. That back corner is a little rough, but overall, uh, eye appeal. Pretty good on this card. Definitely a nice one to find. Check this out. 1958. Mick. Very, very cool. All-star card. This one also. Pretty nice condition overall. I mean, uh, for a 58, there's a little bit of a stain right there, but definitely a a pretty good looking card overall. No creasing in it compared to some of these other ones that I can see at all. Nothing really messed up with the surface so much as you can see. So I was pretty stoked to see that Mickey Mantle in this small collection. And randomly thrown in here, Eric Dickerson, 84 tops rookie. And this one has a crease in it for some reason. Wasn't well taken care of. Some random football. Ronnie Lott, we have a couple Frank Giffords from 58. Not his rookie card, but uh, someone early on in his career. Two Frank Gifford 58s. This one, somebody wrote 49ers on it, just for sheer fun. Luckily, not on both of them. We got some George Blandas. One is pretty nice. The other one's got a crease in it. Ted Marchabroda. A couple of his. Also from 58. And here's a cool one, too. Braves Fence Busters. Del Crandall, Eddie Matthews, Hank Aaron, and Joe Adcock. This one is in uh, pretty decent condition, too, overall. Take a look at that. Something a little bit on the surface, but overall, good-looking card there. Here's some that I'm not too familiar with. I have not looked these up yet, so I couldn't tell you too much about them. But uh, that's where you guys come into play. Jesse James. I don't know if these these are made by Tops. I know that. Uh, I don't know exactly what year. Like I said, I, I could do a quick Google search or an eBay search on them and find them relatively easy, but uh, couldn't tell you a thing about them other than that. Daring Robbery. Jesse James. Some of these are kind of beat up, though. Butting the Dust. A Daring Raid. Preparing for War. Halt or will Shoot. The Raid. You know, look at this. Randomly thrown in there. Hank Aaron. 58 all star. Another nice one, too. Luckily, the mantle and the Aaron are in a pretty good condition. This one's got a little bit of a surface blemish to it, as you can see there. A little bit of a, uh, it's like a, not a claw mark, but some sort of scratch almost. But it's not too bad, though. You can only see it when you turn the card certain ways. So, 58 Hank Aaron is pretty nice. Wyatt Earp a card, randomly thrown in there. Wyatt Earp rookie card. I will take that. Some more 57s. How about this one? Orlando Cepeda, 58 tops rookie card. He's also in the Hall of Fame as well. So this one is one that I bought a few years back. But I'll have to compare this one with the, with the one that I have. See what the condition's like. This one might be better. It's obviously off-center. But Cepeda rookie card, I will never uh, complain about pulling one of those from a collection. This is a pretty awesome one too. Bart Starr, 58 tops. This is the second year Bart Starr who is a Hall of Fame quarterback. And um, this one's also an uncorrected error. So it uh, definitely has a pretty decent price tag that comes along with it. And um, the centering on this one is pretty decent as well. Nothing too crazy about it. There's no creases in it. So not too shabby on the 58 Bart Star. Pretty stoked about that. Second year Daryl Strawberry randomly thrown in here. Joe Montana rookie card. This is one that I... Actually, just bought for myself my own PC like a, probably a month ago, if that. I have not done a weekend recap in a while, so that's why you have not seen it. But I think the one I have is in better condition, but it's a little off on the bottom. So Montana rookie card is always a nice one to see. Got some more 50s Bowman. This one is Ned Garver. Big crease in that one. Some more 58s. Bob Skinner, some Buckos, obviously the hometown team, Kurt Roberts. There's Dick Grote, Vern Law, 58. 
Smokey Burgess, and Jim Gilliam. To end that stack. And we still got uh, plenty more to look at. We got some 54s in here, too. Fortunately, unfortunately, I should say. No Hank Aaron rookie, no Al K-Line. I wish. Ray Matthews, and I have no idea what year these are. I'll have to look those up. Fred Dreyer, late 70s. Bernie Cunningham. There's a 1952. I think this is the only 52 in here. It's pretty beat up, too. Pretty beat up. And back to some more 57s. But so cool to go through these collections. And some of these are in, in pretty good condition for being 1957. It's so cool to see them. And the guy, uh, a <laughs> bad miscut on that one. The guy actually, I think these were in his attic maybe. And his mom might have put them up there in the shoebox. And then just forgot about them. So... He just pulled them out, and I guess he did have some Clementes at some point, and apparently took them and sold them. Or maybe there's one in there. He said there's no rookies. Ellis Kinder he said there was no Clemente rookies, but I think it was like a 58, maybe something like that. So kind of early on, but yeah, some of these 57s are in pretty good shape though. Dave Sizzler, Randy Jackson, Walker Cooper. Marty Johnson and Nelson Burbrink. Vic Wirtz. It's a 1955. So there's not many of those in here. There's more so 56s than anything else. But some of these are in good shape too. Jack Harchman. Back to some 58s. Chet Nichols. Joe Adcock. But... The condition on these is kind of varies back and forth. Frank Baumholtz. But very, very cool to see all these. And random, like, the earliest Bowman car we have in here is a bucko. Mel Queen. This one has definitely seen some stuff over the years. <laughs> And here's one that I've never seen before either. I have no idea what this is. Hudson Superjet. Experimental car. Definitely made by Tops. Don't know what year this is. I did not look into that one, but pretty interesting nonetheless. Part of Ed Brown. I don't know what happened to this one either. Got, just got caught in a fire. <laughs> Something like that happened. More 57s. Bill White. Hank Bauer, Tom Gorman, and another bad miscut. So overall, we came to an agreement on these cards. I gave them a thousand bucks for everything here. More 58s. So if you think that was a good deal, comment down below. If you think I got ripped off, comment down below. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are. You know, there's definitely some, you know, some big names in here. Some of the conditions are questionable, but, uh, you know, the Mick, the Hank Aaron, the Bart Starr, some of those football, the Sonny Jurgensen rookie card, Don Mossy. We all know about Don Mossy around here. Al Walker, the Jackie Robinson exhibits is, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks, all depending on condition. Roy Seavers, Johnny Cucks, Charlie Thompson. And there's not too many more left in here. I thought this was going to be like a 10 minute video, but uh, I've been stalling, I guess, accidentally. Not a bad miscunt. Gus Bell, Simpson. There's a decent amount of 57s here. It'd be an, an okay starter set. Anybody looking to put this together? A lot of these are, are in, uh, you know, not too bad a shape. George Kell. Billy O'Dell, Marv Blaylock, Jim Hearn, Dell Ennis, Wally Moon. <laughs> Look at that unibrow. You could see that from a mile away. Bob Lemon, 58. Wins, 58. Minoso. Unfortunately, like some of the better cards, commons are fine, and then the Minoso has a crease across it. 
Ken Boyer, the second year Jim Bunning. That's pretty awesome. A little blemish to that one. Just picked up Bunning's rookie card at the National. There's a random list in here, I guess, of card prices. Look at that. Rocky Colavito. I guess that must be $300, maybe? Orlando, maybe not. So Orlando Cepeda, $3.50. I wonder how old this list is. Uh, check this out. If only there were some sort of date on here. Hank Aaron, 5 bucks. Duke Snyder, 10 bucks to 57 No price for the Yogi Berra. So at one point, he had a Roberto Clemente in here for 15 bucks. What year was it? Had it been a 57 along with all these other ones. Eddie Matthews, this says 6 and $7 on it. Hodges was 7 bucks. Campanella, 15 There was a Pee Wee Reese that I did not see in here. Also, Eno Slaughter, didn't see that one. There is a mantle. There's the Hank Aaron. $2 and $5. The Aparicio rookie was 3 bucks. wonder what year this is from. Two Aparicios. Well, we saw one in here. Yogi Berra. Killer Brew. I don't think we saw that one yet. I think there's a 58 Killer Brew in here. We still have another stack to go through. But I think most of them are accounted for. That 56 Ted Williams... 24 bucks seems to be like the highest card on here, but that's a cool piece of, of history there. I'll be keeping that one. There's a the killer right there, the 58. Very nice. Luckily, nothing too crazy going on, creasing as far as that card goes. We've got some 53 tops here. No really big names or anything. We've got one little stack left. And uh, some. Was it chess pieces? Final stack, some 58s. Jack Meyer. Pedro Ramos. And back to the 56s. Frank Sullivan. Win once again. Gil McDougald. Mickey Vernon. Bob Hazel. Al Smith. Vic Power, no Mazeroski rookie either in 57. But I do have all the biggest rookies in 57. They said they had a Drysdale. They knew they had a Drysdale somewhere, and they don't know what happened to it. This is uh, before I came over. They're like, we, we had a Drysdale in there. You know, we looked at him, we put him away, and we don't know what happened to it. There's Ennis again, Eddie O'Brien, Strickland, Billy Goodman, Frank Sullivan. So that's all the singles in the box. But uh, definitely a decent amount there. And now we have these, these binder pages. And, you know, there's nothing too crazy on these from what I've seen. Brooks Lawrence, we got some some more less notable players on here. But they're in better condition, though, than some of these other ones. Been well taken care of for many years. On that sheet, we got some more 58s and 57s. Ned Garvers, Gus Belligan. Larry Jackson, Al Dark. And this last page, I think, is mostly all football. More 58s on here, too. But these ones are pretty sharp looking. Walt Jaworski, Tom Wilson, and some team cards. So, like I said, I paid a grand for everything there. Let me know down below if you think it was worth it. If you would have bought it, what your favorite card was. Or even uh, any cards that I passed over that I did not make mention of. Or any ones that I just have not looked up yet and unsure of. Like these Jesse James cards. I'm intrigued by those. But I appreciate you guys all watching. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you back all tomorrow night. Have a great night, you guys.